Greetings, 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 greetings. Greetings and great rising. Greetings and great rising. Good afternoon or good evening. Wherever you are in your day, wherever you are on your journey, baby. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome back. For those that are new here, my name is Robin, the creatrix of Amethyst and Clover. To my warriors, to my subscribers, to my TGs, to my family and my friends. What's up? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? The kid is coming through with the dark moon y'all know how i feel about my dark moons baby yes 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 the dark moon is coming through on tuesday the 28th i say i say get into it it is a good time to uh sit with yourself do some introspection any shadow work anything that needs to come up so we can get the fuck up out of here y'all definitely want to take care of it at that time because the very next day on that wednesday i should come through the last sardines yes 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 the mermaids mama wata yes give me ya i say i say i say come on through uh, will be in Cancer. The new moon will be in Cancer. The dark moon will be in Gemini. The moon phase right now. Today is Sunday. Come on through. Obatala. Ashe. Ashe. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the moon phase tonight is in Gemini and it will be in Gemini up until uh, Tuesday when it will start making its transition into Cancer on Wednesday. Ashe. Ashe. So yeah, this is a important time a potent time we're in cancer season we're still in the sixth month i say i say we just had the um summer solstice i.e bobo saying goodbye to spring and hello to summer well the cardinal sign of cancer is definitely definitely letting you know that summer is here baby summer is here it's gonna be hot it's gonna be nice it's gonna be love i say i say uh the last few readings have been encouraging us to rock with the uh flow of the moon or the cycles of the moon so y'all already know that's how amethyst and clover do we rock with the moon cycles baby the moon phases i.e bo bo yes yeah, so i'm just checking in to see how we can work with the energy of the dark moon the dark moon is when uh there's void light there's no light coming through ashe ashe so yeah let's get into it just gonna see what the energies of it all is see what's popping in these streets how y'all feeling Ashe, Ashe, this is a time for healing. This is a time for forgiveness, especially from yourself, uh, from yourself, for yourself. Ashe, Ashe, any type of um, wounds that you've experienced or uh, that you have from the past, no matter how long ago it's been, uh, you definitely want to take some time and um, to assess those things. Take what you need and leave the rest. Ashe, Ashe. So I'm going to just do a couple more shuffles to see if anything else wants to come through. Y'all know I take jumpers. Ashe, Ashe. I only see one card thus far. One more. Oh, there we go. Ashe. Yeah, so we have Uncover. And then we have Expansion. Oh, and then, listen. Hidden messages, baby. So let that be the first message. I thought uh, just one card came through, which was um, Expansion. That comes out to be a seven. Seven rocks with Jupiter energy. Jupiter is around. Jupiter will be squared off with the moon um, during the time frame. So we know that Jupiter is a very big planet. It is very um, expansive. It's all about abundance. It's about um, paying attention to the synchronicities. We got that Seven here is about luck. Uh, it's definitely about wearing out your weighing out your options. Look, I'm from Baltimore, y'all. So sometimes my words, baby, my words, I say, I give a But yes, it's all about expansion. It's all about abundance. It's all about the the goodness of it all. Very positive energy. So while things may be challenging, Jupiter is definitely going to come in through. Jupiter is definitely going to come through. <laughs> to you know lighten the load is not going to be as bad as you may feel cancer energy water energy is all about the feelings of things so it's going to be big feelings ashe uh your your mind or your your thoughts they could be expanding uh your in regards to career or in regards to love seeing things from other possibilities and other perspectives ashe ashe that may be a little um daunting 
because we're going to be hypersensitive. The moon is going to be in Cancer. Cancer planet is the moon. So just know <laughs> it's going to be big. <laughs> big feelings. Big feelings. So they're encouraging you. They're encouraging you to um, definitely get your ritual on. Rituals, dance, feast, and fire. Yes. So they're saying uh, honoring, uh, honoring the ancestors, honoring the Lawas, honoring the Orishas. Ashe, Ashe. Uh, getting your rituals together, cleaning your altar. Start prepping. Remember, we was talking about, you know, if you haven't cleaned since spring cleaning inside, outside your home, mind, body, and spirit, Ashe, now was a good time. Well, they're encouraging you to now go to the next phase. Get your rituals together. Get your dance on. You know, set fire. This would be a good time of um, either writing a petition, you know, setting your intentions, um, the order that came through, hold on, give me a minute, hold on for the cause, pause for the cause. The order that came through is you definitely want to embrace and acknowledge um, and then become grounded in it, the vulnerability of you, your feelings, your feelings, the soft ones, they are important. That is the energy of this cancer season. You know what I'm saying? Um, it feels like of this year, having, you know, the soft feelings, not being thin skinned. Let's be clear. Every little thing going to get on your motherfucking nerves and hurt your feelings and all that. No, we're not talking about that. We're talking about all of those feelings that you use um, as a weakness. So you, you don't, when I say you use them as a weakness, I mean, you, you only give a little bit of it. Not understanding that that's where the power is. That's where the fire is. That's where the passion is. That's where your spirit is. You understand? The, the heart, the, the energies of self-love and self-care and self-protection and, you know, giving yourself that in abundance or receiving that in abundance and letting it spill and, and having that overflow. You could set fire to any negative thoughts, any negative feelings, any negative ideas. That could be your ritual right there during this dark moon phase. It's a time of introspection, you know, really seeing things for as they are, allowing whatever shadows that need to come up to come through. You may not need to tackle them all at one time or they all may be leaving in a batch. Take all of that to your altar, baby. Um, but it's definitely saying that this is a time to celebrate that you have come out of the cocoon. We have been out of the cocoon, baby. So some of us have still been sitting on that branch, too afraid to flap our wings and fly. You're going to have to trust your instincts. You're going to have to trust your intuition. Use the last days of this sixth month to really awaken and set fire. There have been a lot of awakenings coming through. Shout out to my spiritual warriors. Ashe, Ayi, Bo, Bo, Ashe, Yo. Shout out to getting back to yourself. Shout out to getting back to your roots. Ayi, Bo, Bo, Ashe, Yo. So yeah, get together with you and your ancestors, your spirit guides, your spirit tribe, your animals. Ayi, Bo, Bo, Ashe, Yo. And then we have a fox here. So definitely uh coming through with some cunningness though there's a lot of red here your power your willpower the energy of the the fox's sly you know cunning there will be energies out there as well but the focus the focus should be you there are going to be situations where you're going to feel as though that the softness of you is not the move and it's coming through that the softness of you is the move you don't have to fight fire with fire. Ashe, Ashe, stay focused on your ritual. Stay focused on your dance. Stay focused on getting the, the meal prep together. They said a feast, baby. So your ancestors is coming through saying they ready to eat. Ashe, I, <laughs> I ain't even gonna listen. Me and my mate, we was talking about being hungry all this morning. It was a little personal joke. I can't even say it here because it's a little, you know... <laughs> It's a little incorrect. I say, I say, but shout out to you, Milton. Shout out, Mr. Seaborn. I love you. I love you. I love you. I say. Then we have here Uncover. This was the first card to flip over, shot out, and all of the above. So um, there are some things that are coming up. Uh, there are some things that you definitely need to see. And you're going to have to tap into your 
so below baby you're gonna have to actually put in that work you're gonna need to do some divination get a reading get a pendulum um there's some things that needs to be uncovered and you're being encouraged to explore they're waiting on you. Your ancestors are waiting on you. That was the first card that came out. So the order of it is, is that this 39, this is an 11. This is a master number. This is coming from your higher self. Your higher self is encouraging you. Get that reading. Do a reading. If you if you rock with tarot cards or oracle cards or regular playing cards, if you're a cartomancer, baby, get in on it. If you have your favorite uh, cartomancer, get in on it. Hey, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Things are being uncovered. There's something that you need to know. This is that energy of Pluto that is still in retrograde telling you that, yeah, now was the time. Now was the time. So you want to either do some meditation. They're saying dowsing and pendulums um, to get your answers. So if you rock with a pendulum and you don't need much. You can actually, you know, put something on the end of a string um, or, you know, create uh, or just do some meditation. If you don't have a pendulum, don't let anything stop you from getting the answers that you've been asking internally. Ashe, Ashe, those soft, vulnerable questions that you're kind of afraid of getting the answers to because you feel as though you're not prepared for the answer. Oh, but you are because if you haven't been pondering, and this is also a part of the shadow work, if you haven't been, if you've been pondering on something, you know, if, if you've been coming back to it and, you know, it just keeps coming back and you just keep pushing it to the side or ignoring it, this, that, and the third, there's shadow work in that. Again, shadow work is not always on a negative end. Nothing about shadow work is negative outside of the shit that we got to go down and get or the shit that is coming up, I say. But ultimately, shadow work is not a negative. Shadow work is not a positive. Shadow work, it is what it is, but we are the master magicians. We are the alchemists in our own life, baby. We will change that shit but in order for things to change internally you have to take a look at it you have to uncover it so do some meditation get a bowl of water scry light an incense see what comes through the smoke ashe ashe see what color the smoke is see which way the smoke is blowing you know get familiar with your four directions this is a crossroad time dark moon energy ashe ashe uh, so yeah, this is, is whatever is coming through is going to add to you. So don't be afraid to put in that work. It's also come through that some of us have been doing nothing but shadow work, period. And nothing comes from that. If you're doing your shadow work or if you are addicted to doing shadow work and not implementing, not taking what you need and leaving the rest, not putting a plan into action, you know, you like, yeah, I do my shadow work. But what do you do with the information? What do you do with the knowledge? What do you do with your answers? They're coming through to encourage you to start making a plan. Put it into action. Ashe, Ashe, so that seven energy, that expansion of it all, everything is going to be magnified, everything is going to be amplified, so your your shadows are going to seem bigger than what they really are, the illusions, that's what the moon is all about, don't forget the illusions of it all, my people, and then it's coming through with the 19 beginnings, so 19 comes out to be a 10, 10 is masculine and feminine energy, Ashe, the power and the possibilities, so with all the possibilities, remember we was talking about that seven, having a lot of possibilities, you're going to need to um, choose one, Pick one, you know, um, and it's because it's four beginnings. These are new beginnings. This is that cardinal energy, the beginning phase. This is the beginning of summer. You know, this is the first lunar cycle of the moon coming through this summer energy, Ashe. So it says adjustments, shedding, new, and release. Baby, listen, I can't make this up on my best day. So all three of the energies that are coming through is do your shadow work, do your healing, let whatever needs to come through, come through. Let go of whatever you need to let go of, make room for the new. Stop allowing your past to cipher your life force, your life source. Stop allowing it to keep you stuck. And feeling bad. You have so many other options and possibilities. You still have some gas in the tank. Ashe, Ashe. And I know that the price for gas, let me finish my last little bit of water. Ashe. The price of gas is getting outrageous. So let that be a message. You know, you may feel as though that you're taking a big risk. 
this is not a risk this is something that is yours this is for your greatest and your highest good yeah new beginnings you have to let these things go and understand that when you threw your wants, your needs, your, your desires and your passions and, and your faith and your practices. And, you know, when you threw all that out into the universe, they're coming back to tell you, baby, it was received and we're giving it back to you in abundance. So that energy that you're feeling, it could be a little turbulence. It could feel like it's, you know, the waves and it is high tides or you're not sure what's coming ashore. During this cancer season, you want to rock with it. Remember, what we've been working on our big goals, our big uh, ideas, and our big dreams. I say that Jupiter energy, that Saturn and Jupiter, Jupiter conjunction. <laughs> Venus is also on the scene. So Venus, the moon, and Jupiter, they're going to be rocking heavy, you know, during this time. So it's definitely going to be expansive. But the love and the nurture and the care of it all this is going to be a beautiful time, huh? There's going to be a lot of knowledge coming up, a lot of answers coming up, you know? Wisdom, shedding of the skin. But then again, they're, they're, they're clear on the end. Look, there's that moon. There's that, there's that full moon. So they're clear on the energies of uh, low vibrations and trickery and trying to use you against you and using your words against you. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Be as clear as you can, especially during your ritual. Especially during your ritual because this is a very potent, powerful time. This is going to be like the creme de la creme of psychic abilities. We got double cancer. We got double water. We got the power and the energy of Gemini, that air season, thinking big thoughts and big dreams and seeing so many possibilities. And we saw the octopus and had so many uh, hands in a jar. There's going to be a lot of things going on. And in the midst of all that goodness, there's still going to be the balance of life. You know, everything isn't going to be all bad and everything isn't going to be all good. That's going to be a little bit of both. You're going to have to figure out how to integrate your 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 ego <laughs> with your spirit you're going to need to be able to see at this stage of the game they're telling you you're going to see who's really for you you're going to really see your ego you're really going to see you know that lower vibrating side you're going to have to take those in and whatever doesn't rock with your heart whatever doesn't rock with your spirit Take this to your altar. You're gonna to need to let that go. You're gonna let you're gonna to have to allow those endings um to come to an end. Shit is about to come to a close. Things must close for something else to be open. Ashe, and since we're talking about opening and closing, when you're doing your rituals, you must close what you open. So when you're opening the doors, the gateways, and the portals, and trust and believe that energy of that 666 that we just had on the 24th is still present, is still valid. So that's just letting you know it's been energy upon energy upon energy. We've been talking about feeding our ancestors. This this reading may go a little bit longer than, you know, the, the attention span of a net, but rock with the kid. Ashe, Ashe, telling you that... It's time to release. You have to let those doors close. Let them close. They're closing for a reason. Don't forget this is in regards to your greatest and your highest good. Let's go ahead and take a look in regards to the tad. Oh. So try to remember. Actually, try to remember what it is that your ancestors like to eat. For our culture, you can never go wrong with yams. Yam across the board, yams or sweet potatoes. I know that, you know, here in the States, it's predominantly sweet potatoes. You can never go wrong with that. So if you ain't got nothing else, just go get yourself a couple of sweet potatoes. Look on Pinterest, chop them up. You know, you can cook them in a pan. You can make candy uh, sweet potatoes or candy yams right in the pan, baby. It takes so much um <laughs> so much less it doesn't take as much energy is what i'm trying to say it doesn't take as much energy it doesn't take as much time to do it on the stove top as opposed to the oven and it's conserving your um your energy your energy bill and your energy i say i say they wanted to be clear on that no excuses on not giving them a, a meal this is a part of that give and take Ashe, that water energy going with the flow, creating the flow, you know, that, that transference of energy, the frequencies, the connections, Ashe, Ashe, the love, the grace, and the gratitude, uh-huh, the tarot is, oh, oh, okay, 
The energy is coming through, baby. We got three, three, and two, twenty. So the synchronicities. Paying attention to the synchronicities. 33. 33 has been rocking and 33 definitely comes out to be a 6. So that 6 energy. Something has come, either come through or something has happened during that 666 portal. Either the very first one or the one that we just had. Uh, there's Some of us have awakened to our abilities the psychic abilities whether it's uh you know it could be one of the clairs take a look into all of them clear clear audience um <laughs> clairvoyance i say i say messages are definitely coming through this is a, a celebration people taking notice of you people taking notice of your work uh it could be a, a new venture a new prospect maybe you knit hey here you go they're telling you right now you know get in on it that macrame get in on it see how you can turn your craft into something uh, lucrative for you you may be feeling as though that you are short on cash or things are getting a little tight they're telling you tap into your resources let go of the thoughts that you do not have everything you need to be prosperous and successful you do you do. And with all of this energy of Jupiter and Venus and the moon coming through with the abundance of it all and the amplification of it all, they're telling you that you've been seeing clear as day what options you have, what gifts and talents that you have. Maybe you're just awakening to them. Maybe you're just starting to realize it. But baby, they've been rocking with you the whole time. And look at that. That's that Venus energy coming on through. The love and the support. Your ancestors and your Lawas and your Orishas, they have been rocking with you the whole time. And it's a very beautiful time. So tap into your third eye, your first eye, your mind's eye. Start to see you and your situation clearly. Because this is divine. Divine is, is, is coming through. Your source. Huh? Your highest source. The abundance, the messages, they've been trying to get you to see. So during this dark time of this dark moon, you're going to be able to see. <laughs> and you're going to be able to see clearly. And the way to do it, be like, I don't even know how. This is where that meditation comes through. It's from the heart. And it's also coming from your mind and your crown chakra. And then here we have it here. We have the two of pentacles. We have the, the balancing of it all. So you definitely want to make sure that you are rooted, suited, booted. Start with your root chakra. Sit down. Get grounded. Balance yourself out internally. You always want to make sure you come back to center. Anytime that you're feeling all over the place, anytime that you're not sure on what you need to do, you want to always try to come back to center. Ashe, Ashe. So with the first three cards sitting up on deck, we got the, 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 the two of pentacles and the three of pentacles. So this is balancing out that home and, and your work life or your fun and your spiritual life. You know, the, the, the as above and the so below. There's some balance or some grounding that needs to take place here. You want to be mindful that someone may be watching you or someone may be trying to steal or uncover the secrets of your ideas. If you've been getting a sense of that you definitely want to take that to your altar you definitely want to start honing in on that keeping some things close to the chest now may not be the best time to share you know what you have going on because you're so close to the end you don't want someone to come and has been watching you this whole time and now they see how things are going to unfold and they beat you to the punch i say i say this is why they've been asking you to keep abreast of who you have in your camp they can our ancestors our spirit guides and our laws they can only do but so much they can only show us tell us we have to to implement it we are the the physical beings on this realm that is in control of our life source and our life force you know um so that's using the chariot in regards to the tarot it's not on this table right now but the chariot telling you to take the reins take control of your life so when you got the 22s coming out you're being called to make a decision you're being called to rock with spirit 
you may be focused a little bit too much on the money. That Taurus energy has definitely been coming through um, with finances. And we have finances, you know, sitting, you know, right here. Um, but there's definitely a, a, a decision that needs to be made. Uh, there's something that, whether it's a part of the ads above or the soul below, baby, look, not look, don't shoot the messenger. You know, the, the karmic debt, the, the cycle, you know, there's some form of either reward or repercussion that is definitely going to come through. The question of it is, will you answer the call? Are you too afraid to to get what's coming to you, whether it's on a high end or on a low end, and there's no point in feeling really any type of way because you've already thrown that energy out there. This is the the abundance. What you throw is coming back to thee. Remember the eights? Yeah, that in between time. So when you add up all the tarot that comes out to be a 10, so cycles are ending. Your spirit is being called to a higher purpose. You may be thinking too small. You may be focused too much on the money and not enough on the spirituality. Remember why you're doing the things that you're doing. Remember to always lead and rock with spirit. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. There's some beautiful things coming here, but it's all going to it's all going to play out. <laughs> How you you are the, the the biggest moving puzzle piece to your life puzzle. So whether you realize it or not, you are making the decisions, and even no decision is a decision. We got to stop right here. That may be out of control. So you definitely want to proceed with caution. You don't have to move fast, and we're going to take those. Thank you so much. You don't have to move fast. This is a time to make sure you got all your ducks in a row to make sure that your your foundation is stable. You know, you got two, two that comes out to be a four. So the stability of it all, you're, you're about to build. So you want to make sure that your foundation is concrete. Ashe, Ashe. And it's going to be a very uh, profitable, especially spiritual time. Your spirit has grown. You have grown. Ashe, Ashe. And then we uh, pay attention to the synchronicities. Oh, and uh, baby, listen, we got 25. So 25 and 25 breakthrough to new dimensions. See? That dark moon, them deep waters, baby. There's some deep waters out here. Deep waters is coming through with the whale telling you to. A new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. 25 and 25. Double sevens. Oh, and then that's 725. Come through my grandma, Marie. I say, I, you, bo, bo. I say, oh, yes, 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 and yes. So the, the newness, the beginnings of it all. This is why you want to go ahead and let those cycles come to an end. This is why you want to go ahead and answer the call, whether it's good, bad, or otherwise. You want to answer that because once you get what you need to get from this moment, this dark work, you're going to see a lot of light in this dark shadow. You're going to see a lot of light in this dark moon. Ashe, Ashe. So it is already a beautiful and powerful thing. Ashe, Ashe is not as bad as you think it's going to be to go ahead and, and get your... Get your ass spanked. Go ahead and get your spanking if that's what it's taking for you. Get it. Because you're still moving on. You're acknowledging that, yes, I done fucked up. That is the end of that cycle. I'm not doing that again. That door is closed. Let that new beginning come on through. They're saying new dimensions. Hmm? And some people, you know, are, have been talking about the fifth dimension for a very long time. So maybe you're starting to awaken to that realization. Or maybe you're starting to come into, you know, your ATR. I.E. Bobo. I say, yo, whatever it is, you want to dive deep. Dive deep. Get what you need. So when you come up, baby... It's going to come up so, like a breath of fresh air. Look at this whale. It doesn't look like he's getting, he's definitely getting a breath of fresh air. And he's like, thank you. Yes. Yes. Get your breath of fresh air. Dive deep. You got to go down. You got to get to the dark to see the light. Huh? You got to go down to come up. Baby, let the whale be an example of that. The deep waters, you got to go down to get up. 
once you let go of whatever this is, you know, maybe it's a failed marriage or a failed adventure or a failed business plan. Maybe you got to start from scratch, but trust and believe. Check your foundation. You may not need even a new foundation. All you done came through, baby, and wiped the slates and wiped the path clear. Ashe, Ashe. Oh, Chusi is coming through with the energy of Jupiter telling you to shoot your shot. And make sure that your aim is true. Because Otrusi's shot is always true. Otrusi's aim is always true, baby. So if you putting in some work as it came through from the very beginning of doing rituals and, and doing a dance, you know. So if you putting in some work, Jupiter's on deck. Venus is on deck. When you shoot your shot, it will ring true. So if you're trying to, to send energy back to send a nine by nine by nine listen if you're doing a cursed hex or spell listen if you're working on healing forgiveness you know and, and moving on in life listen huh whatever it is you're trying to do whatever it is you're working on baby it's coming through and it says eight keep it in check see you gotta dive deep deep feelings deep waters baby deep waters Pay attention to what's going on around you. You might be moving into something too quickly or missing some important details. Eight, the balance of it all. Eight, remember I said you got fours. You got two, two, and four. So you got double energy. You want to sit with it for a minute. This is why they were saying, you know, doing that dowsing and that pendulum. You got to sit still for that and let everything else move. Ashe, Ashe. Mm -hmm. pay attention this is what they're saying remember it's a beautiful time but there is some energy that's going on around you you definitely going to want to and need to keep your feelings in check the name of the game has always been divide and conquer no matter what is going on you want to keep your energy and your focus on the positive and the the highest of vibrations that's the way to balance this out not getting caught up into all the, you know, propagandas of the physical world. Ashe, Ashe, don't forget this is spiritual energy we're talking about. This is a spiritual warfare. These are spiritual awakenings. This is about aligning yourself to your spiritual tribe. Getting suited and booted and ready to fight the good fight. Ashe, Ashe. So before you make your decisions, and they've been saying it, before you make your decisions... There's some things that you need to see. There's some things that you need to know. Remember the dowsing and the pendulum to get some answers. You're being encouraged that before you decide, and I said this on the last video, take a look at that one. Before you make your decisions, you definitely want to give it a minute. So they're telling you, I act, now is still not the time. <laughs> I act. And they're saying, and here is another 10. Yeah, so 10 is definitely on deck. We got 19 for beginnings. That's a 10. And then here we have every step counts. And look at that. Some type of, of deep water sea creature slug type thing. <laughs> so actually, uh, like I said from the very beginning, today is Sunday. Oh, by to last day. Keeping your, your third eye lit. All that purple. And all that yellow looking like fire, keeping your third eye lit, not allowing your ego to get the best of you. But let's see what the let's see what these waters are talking about. There is an advantage in taking things slow. Look, there twice is coming out on both ends. Take it slow. When I said take it slow, remember? Pinnacles, earth energy. Earth energy is a slower moving energy. Ashe, Ashe, there's an advantage to taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options. That's what they were saying. You have, there are a lot of possibilities. There are a lot of possibilities out here. I would definitely encourage you to rock with spirit. Take that to your altar. This is a, a slow moving time. So the energies of the of the water, they're coming in, and this dark moon, you just gotta sit still and allow it to wash over you. Ashe. So they're telling you to pay attention to the energies and the vibrations, the frequencies 
of it all. Not so much with these. Here. And here. And here. Ashe. Ashe. And what's the shadow card? Oh, as always, the lovers. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to definitely do another video coming through yet again with the lovers. Ashe, Ashe. Baby, listen. But endings and beginnings. Endings and beginnings. And even within that, you have choices to make. Some of you could be getting together to do um, a family business. Well, if you've been doing that, things are about to expand. And you may have been feeling the energies of that. And you may feel as though you got to move, move, move and catch every, <laughs> like Pokemon, you got to catch every one of them. No, nah. no. Nah, the name of the game is slow and steady wins the race. Don't have outsiders talking you into moving before is your time. Stay on your path. Stay true to the course. Remember, slow and steady. Keep in, let the energies of Gemini mental energy remember heart head heart while things are moving so fast because mercury is a very fast moving planet but mercury also rocks with uh virgo which is an earth sign so it is the dualities of it all and you're being encouraged now that while people are starting to notice you people are starting to you know recognize everything that you have going on they see that you have come together you really put in that work your ancestors your lawas your orishas they see now that this spiritual calling is not a game if you work it and allow it to work you it's full of, of, of abundance, it's full of beauty, it's full of wonder, it's full of magic. Yes, but it's also full of the, the lower ends as well and how we navigate and how we move and we've been encouraged to move with grace and understand a thing. Use, have some discernment, have your boundaries in check. Hmm? Be mindful of who's talking in your ear. They may be trying to get you to go against you. And this goes for mates. This goes for whether you're in a relationship or not. This could be in regards to ego. Ashe. And then again, this is still that Gemini energy. And I'm going to also say this is also Taurus and Libra energy uh, because of uh, Venus. Oh, and let Ochusi come on through. So if you've been thinking about, you know, starting a new relationship or giving this person a chance, they're telling you, baby, go ahead and shoot your shot. Oh, Chusey is definitely on deck. The kid can't make this up on her, her best day, baby. I say, I say, I ye bo bo. I say, yo. But again, you want to make sure that you are choosing wisely. There are some people in your camp that are causing you to feel like you don't have the strength. They're fucking draining as balls. You understand what I'm saying? The Marasa is on deck. Triple Goddess Feminine Energy is on deck. So making sure you're in alignment with your mind, your body, and your spirit. If it's not passion, if it's not love, if it's not setting you on fire, baby, take this to your altar. But that's not the move. <laughs> that's not the move. They're asking you to come to the altar. They're asking you to put in your ritual work. Do your rituals. You know, pour your libations. Do your petitions. You know, or, or do, we've been talking about the, you know, the dark mirror work. Taking a regular little dollar store mirror. Getting a black candle, you know, light the bottom of it, set it on a daggone candle. And as it melts, you want to focus on the flame, the fire of it all. Listen. Focus on the fire of it all. That last video was talking about someone is trying to, you know, put in that work on you, throwing up blocks, whether it's you self-sabotaging or somebody else. So let's be clear. And as it starts to burn, you're looking at the fire. And you're using the dualities, that Gemini energy. You're using the fire to send all bullshit back to send the nine by nine by nine or whatever number you rock with. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. And you're also using that fire to give you the strength, give you the carriage. Adding to your life source. Whatever energy you've given, it's gone regenerate huh they're asking you to reevaluate regenerate don't forget that you know restore replenish get what's yours 
clearing the air. So any conversations that need to take place, now was the time. You don't want to move into the new moon with some old shit. So something in the shadows needs to come up. They're saying you know exactly what it is. It's coming up. Deal with it. You already know what it is. You're not doing this by yourself. Your spiritual team and your spiritual tribe is already on deck. You got the whale energy. And like I said, the Lasarings, the mysteries, and the mistresses of the sea. So you have also a Galway coming on through, granting you safe passage. It's so many signs and symbols and synchronicities out here. You're not seeing the positives in your situation. You're focusing on the wrong shit and focusing on the, the hardships or the hurdles or the failures, you know, or the hurt feelings, the pain, the wound, the betrayal, the lies of deceit. That's draining your life source. This is why you don't feel strong enough. This is why you don't feel brave enough. This is why you don't feel like a warrior to go in and continue to get and fight. What's yours? It's yours. This is why they're telling you, have a care. You want to nurture yourself. You want to tap into your instincts, trust in your gut. Knowing when a person, you know when my person is lying to you. Come on now. You know when someone is trying to, you know, over talk you, double talk you. Don't forget, Mercury is back direct. And Mercury rocks with Papa Legba. And Papa Legba does it have triple, <laughs> triple tricks their energy. Let's be clear. Huh? So we got fox, seal, birds, slugs, and whales. If you rock with any of those energies, then that's what it is. If you want to keep yourself aligned to Jupiter, you can rock with color uh, purple. Just to keep you remembering your greatest and your highest good. Staying connected with spirit. Understanding that you are a powerful being. This is a very potent and powerful manifestation moon cycle don't fall for the illusions don't allow your ego to tell you that you will never get this you you're dreaming way too big bitch right <laughs> don't allow that to be the case pro and i said it right here proceed with caution they got the they got the the stop in the red <laughs> they got the stop in the red they got the stop in the middle that's a little out of order. So stop. Remember? Stop. Do some meditation. Do your pendulum. Get a reading. You know, do some dowsing. Some some window, window robin. Some day going uh mirror work. There's definitely something that you need to get. They're reminding you you don't have all the pieces. And they're coming through this moon cycle. They're coming through. So pause. Have a pause. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. And let's just end it with a couple of more cards. Thank y'all so much for rocking if you made it this far, Ashe. And that was at a 43. 43 is definitely a 7, so 777. At the time I did the time check, it was 43 minutes exactly. I release what does not serve me. See, they're asking you, go ahead. Even if it's tears, those hurt, those pain, you have to let it go. You have to let it go. Do what you need to do. Cry, then dance. Ashe, Ashe. Cry, then write. Or write as you cry. However it is you need to do it. You need to release in order for this abundance to come through. Don't forget, we've been talking about blocks and uh, people trying to cipher your energy. The, the ciphering of energy is very real. We have some very energetic huh, vampires out here. Ashe, Ashe. Release. Maybe you put your trust in the wrong people. Maybe you put your money in the wrong hands. Let that be a lesson learned. Ashe, Ashe. Maybe you've been having too much fun and now you got to pay the price and you like, what the fuck was I thinking? Listen, whatever it is. Hmm? Or maybe you've been putting in too much work. Too much fun or too much work. Maybe you've been putting in too much uh, too much work. And now you ain't got no friends. <laughs> That's a very hurtful feeling. I just needed some time. What the fuck? And then it's also saying, I am unbreakable. This is what they want you to know. Come on, y'all. Answer the phone. 
answer the call. It's not going to break you. It can only help you. It can only help you. Don't forget, Jupiter is on scene. Jupiter is on deck. Jupiter makes everything all right. <laughs> when you're in my world, everything is all right. Yes. Just know that. Huh? Just know that. Let these doors close. Let these cycles in. Balance out the, the masculine and the feminine energy. So with this cancer energy, it's going to be a lot of emotions. And they're going to be so big. And it's going to be like highs and lows. High, you may be feeling a little depressed, baby. This is a good time to remember who you are and what you're about. Remember what you got going on. Remember your fire, your willpower, the energy and the essence of you. You are a whole motherfucking magician out here in these streets. You are the big biggest alchemist in your life baby listen don't allow these negative energies and these low vibrating creatures on this realm or any other realm have you doubting yourself have you getting off track they have been telling you they have got your back they got your you see that damn tattoo they got your back hand in hand and back to back they got you they got you you gotta have you too though and this is like a motherfucking Big Dipper. Ashe, Ashe, come through. Shoot your shot. 31, I am disciplined. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. What did I do? I was just saying that shit. I was just saying that. Huh? The balancing of it all. The masculine and the feminine energies. That 10. And is this another 19? 10, 10, 10. Rock with that. So if you've been seeing 1010 10, or pay attention to if you see 1010, 10, this is your ancestors letting you know that they have got your back. They are right here. Continue moving on. Move from the softest place of you. Move from your heart. Huh? Approach. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality. That's that earth energy. And imagination. That's that water energy. Ashe, Ashe, your mind is steering with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them to your life. Listen, manif I told you this is a very potent and powerful manifestation time and this comes out to be a four. So 44 as well. Remember those two. So two, four, six, and eight. Who do we appreciate? <laughs> Do your offerings, do your ritual, make that feast, make that meal. They're saying this week, yeah, make that meal. Get in on it. I am disciplined. Oh, and then here we come in with that six. They are closing it out, y'all. Listen, your heart is your gift. What I say, the softest part of you, that's the power. This is what's needed right now, the softest parts of you. Tell your ego, have a seat. <laughs> I got this. Listen, and that could be where the shadow is. Some of us aren't trusting our heart. Some of us have been hurt from love. And I told you I'm going to do that love relationship uh, reading. That's going to be next. But listen, you're going to need to work that out. You need your heart and your heart needs you. Your gifts, your power, your abundance, your harvest. It needs the softest parts of you right now. I say, I say, you know. I just heard Miss Wong because I was like, well, what's, we're moving into July, you know, so that's going to be the seventh month. And off the whiz, she was like, oh, don't be all sixes and sevens, honey. Listen, watch the whiz, watch the golden child, watch the whiz. But Miss Wong said, and we've been seeing a lot of ones popping out. I kept talking about Aries energy and, and Aries energy and that fire. Miss Wong is coming through saying, don't be all sixes and sevens, honey. Don't be all crossed. And they, we done had some crossings and some curses and a whole lot of work being done. And we need to counteract and be, you know, productive of, of our boundaries and our rights and, and our harvest and our lines. Listen, come through, Miss One. Do that uncrossing. Do your ritual. They're telling you, yes, do your ritual. Do that shit. Be nurturing to yourself. Your heart is your gift. You are a natural born nurturer. So you actually could be a cancer or look to see if cancer is anywhere in your chart. Ashe, I will even go as far as to say, look to see if there's any water in your chart at all. And these could be the areas that you need to give just a little bit more nurture to. Ashe, Ashe. 
Mm. You are a natural born nurturer and have a gift. Nope. Have a great talent for helping and healing others. You are the epitome of self-sacrifice and a protector of those you love. I am nurturing. Listen, there's some double work here. You're going to have to read in between the lines. That's the message that is coming through. You're going to need to read in between the lines. You're going to need to have the balance of practicality and imagination. Of knowing when to stay grounded and knowing when, you know, to move as things are starting to go through your mind. All these feelings that are coming up, all of these thoughts in regards to how you're feeling, take that to your altar. You could have that awakening. I've been talking about there's a lot of awakenings going on. You're being called to be a healer. You're trying to figure out what's your purpose and what's your path and what is it that you're meant to do. Heal but before you can heal others, you have to heal yourself. And that could be the, the greatest foundation of your journey, of how to turn, you know, something that you've been working on, you know, just for you or for family and, and how to help others and actually get that abundance. You ain't got to chase the money. It should not be about the money. I mean, in our physical world, because you got the earth energies out here, it's always on a physical realm. So even if it is about the money, just don't lose sight of the spiritualness of it all. That's what's going to bring your harvest in. You rocking with your path. You rocking with spirit. You remembering why you are doing this. Nurturing yourself. If you had some setbacks, nurture that. Don't beat yourself up. There was a lesson to be learned in that. This is a psychic time. So some of us are, are being born uh, awakened or reawakened as psychics, as mediums that may be able to rock with pendulums, dowsing, scrying. Maybe the tarot, maybe the cardamancy role is not for you, but it's definitely coming through in regards to um, maybe pendulum work, dowsing work, scrying work, you know, something... Uh, are still on a, on a visual sense, but it's just coming through in a different manner. Take that to your altar. Ashe, ashe. But yeah, everything is about to be magnified and amplified. <laughs> it's going to be out of control. All your emotions and your feelings are going to feel out of control. And let those fours and twos and eights come through. You're going to have to balance yourself out. Balancing out your emotions, not allowing your emotions to get the best of you. Not let people talk you out of what is great for you because it could be for the greatest and their highest of good they need your energy don't let don't don't let that happen ashe ashe and i just heard at the end of it all 69 baby that's that's the cancer energy so the sensuality the sexuality now may be a good time a potent time a powerful time for that sex magic for those that rock so to my warriors and you know we are very spiritual we are rocking without atrs we're rocking without craft we're rocking with any traditional faith-based practice that we rock with but we are the alchemists we are the magician we are the high priestess baby we are the emperors baby we are the empress baby you understand what i'm saying Saying. we are the chariot we are taking the reins they're telling you take the reins take control don't let your emotions get the best of you oh and then i got on you know y'all see who rocking i got miss tubman rocking you know and if you think about turning back <clears throat> put the shotgun on the back black listen we ain't got no time to be playing this is not a playing time I know it feels very nostalgic. I just saw, oh, but we going down memory lane, back down memory lane. Listen, I get it, but don't don't go too far. If there's a lesson, you get that, and you get the fuck on. I say, I say, don't have somebody taking you down memory lane because that could you get caught up into that. You gonna miss? Don't forget that something is coming through. There's something is coming up, and they're telling you it's, it's happening now. We've been hearing that for the last, the last couple of weeks. Staying still because there's some things that's in the shadows. Well, guess what? It's a total blackout. This dark moon, deep water moon, is a total blackout. So you can't help but to see because they're shedding all the light. All the light. You're about to get your answers. Patience is a virtue. They doing, doing these last couple of days, you're going to have some trickster energy in your ear. Trying to get you off track. Take that to your altar. Ashe, ashe, ayi, bo, bo. May no ill thought words, curses, sex, and spells, negative energy, low vibration cross you, your ori, your auric, or your aortic field. Ashe, take what you need and leave the rest. 
What does this dark moon energy mean to you? Ashe, Ashe. If anyone is trying to cause any type of harm to us on any type of level, mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, energetically, any of the leads, Come through my Uncle Lee. We want to return all that shit. Do your spells. Do your rituals. Nine by nine by nine. That's 725. Come through my grandma. I Ashe, Ashe. And if you're not having the day that you want to have or living the life that you want to live, what we say, warriors, you want to change that shit, baby. Peace, 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 peace. Beat your drum. Honor your ancestors. Honor your lawas. They asked for a feast. Do your rituals. First, last few days. Come to terms, do your shadow work, forgive yourself, heal yourself, let that shit go, move the fuck on, do your plan, get it in motion, set it in motion, huh? Do your ritual, feed your ancestors, and then put one foot in front of the other and move the fuck on. Ashe, Ashe, peace.